Welcome back to Target 2014. We're in Dunedin in sunshine. Today, heading for Invercargill. We've got some interesting stages, including going through the Catlins. Six stages, 150 odd Ks of specials, 370 of touring. The Park Ferme tonight is right in Invercargill. They need to be there by 8.30. The first cars will be in around about 6.30 tonight. A great testament to some of the service crews and their ingenuity. We had several people yesterday that looked as though their problems were terminal. Jason Gill, I thought, blew smoke in the morning, wasn't looking good, thought he'd blown an engine, so did he. Jason, I noticed, noticed at the start line yesterday there was a fair amount of smoke coming out, blue smoke, didn't look great, and then later on when we heard on the grapevine that you'd blown an engine, it didn't sound surprising, but it wasn't, was it? No, one actual fact happened was the um, oil pressure switch had broken off the back of the motor. It must have been uh, sort of starting to leak, but it actually broke off during the stage, which dumped all the oil out of the car. And um, we thought we'd actually blow on the motor because of the same, sort of same symptoms as last year. So we shut it down and luckily the motor's fine. We got the $20 part from Repco and we're back in the, back in the race. Neil Tollidge in the Capri also thought he was out terminal engine had seized but not so. He's back in. Uh, what happened was this, that um, we'd been trying to take it reasonably easy in, to keep the tyres safe for the rest of the event and I decided to just go a bit quicker on that stage but it was doing nothing silly, changed from third to fourth at six and a half thousand revs as is normal and the engine just died dead and blue smoke pouring out of the back in the mirrors. We thought, God, the engine's lunched itself, pulled over, blue smoke pouring out of the exhaust, it wasn't running, but just coming out, so we thought the engine was just molten inside. Anyhow, um, tried to start, it was blocked, so that was that. Towed it into um, Omaru, lovely guy, garage, we started to open up everything and turned the engine over with the spark plugs out and water flew out of every cylinder. We said, where did the water come from? And a water jacket uh, on the gasket had uh, come through, got into the inlet manifold, filled all the cylinders with water, snuffed the engine out, and the blue smoke was glycol burning. So a dear old guy in a pensioner flat had a Ford Fairlane, a gasket set for a 302 Windsor, put it on and it's running like a clock. Robert Gunn and the Walkinshaw Commodore looked like he was off in the bush and out of the event on day one. A hairpin my way. Oh, you okay? We, we came over the brow of a hill and we were carrying a bit too much speed. We got halfway round and the um, back of the car let go and we were passengers for the rest of the, the time. We parked up the hill. We put it on a chassis rig yesterday and the, um, they straightened the back out and it's um, all good. So quiet day today and see how we go. Tony Quinn in the Lamborghini ended up in a paddock. We thought that car was totaled and he wouldn't be back, but he says he'll be back on Friday. So there's some great mechanics, there's been some great work done and some real Kiwi ingenuity in getting these cars back on the road.